everybody. Ricky here with Apple Valley Farm. Thank you so much for being here. We are in the middle of a series of videos where we're taking a look at inexpensive gifts you can buy for Father's Day. Today we are looking at the Husky Digital Protractor. Very, very cool gift and a very inexpensive gift. I got this for my birthday. Um, I think my kids got it at Home Depot. It's like 20 bucks. Really, really cool gift easy to set up and I'm going to take a quick look at it with you about setting it up and uh, we're going to test its accuracy or actually I'm going to assume its accuracy is correct and I'm going to test it against some of the other angle measuring tools in the shop. So with that, here we go. All right, so the Husky Digital Protractor, very cool. Um, the most challenging part of this little tool is getting it out of the blister pack. It was it was packed in there for uh, for the end of time. Uh, that was a little bit of a challenge. To put the battery in, push this little tab in right here. See that? Beep. There you go. It opens the battery drawer. Uh, if you got thick fingers, you're going to have a hard time getting that out. Anyway, it comes with a battery uninstalled. Put it in the tray click it back in place there we go it's ready to go see it's coming on now we are ready to go now look as you move this bah, 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 the angle will move accordingly you can loosen this guy or tighten it back up i will say as you use it it loosens this a little as you go so you'll have to constantly be readjusting it to get this thing uh back to zero or to make sure it's on zero put it on your work table or a flat surface like this and as it's flat on there because you want to make sure that these are flat together on the edge hold down the on button for a couple of seconds and it'll zero that right back out now you know you're at dead center, I guess we should say, or at zero degrees right here. And then as these separate, uh, now you'll get an accurate reading. So each of the rulers uh, have the markings on here in metric and standard, uh, so that's really nice. Um, there's nothing else much to tell about this. In case you forget about how to put the battery in or setting the zero, you can uh, see the instructions on the back. I will say, this little joint right here uh, they had a inspection sticker over that i don't know why but it had stuck to this uh, because this is a decal and i had to cut it off with my knife uh, that was a little irritating but i mean you know hey for 20 bucks anyway let's give this thing a test drive and let's see how accurate it is um, compared to some of my other shop tools Okay, so I'm going to assume my speed square is fairly accurate. I would hope so. I use it for almost everything. I assume that this is a true 90 degree angle. Um, let's check it out with the digital protractor and let's just see what it has to say. Um, if I hold this up against there. Oh, oh look out. 89.6. That's not good. So either my protractor is off or this is off. However, this is not designed to be yeah, super duper perfect. It is for roughing stuff out, but that is a little bit of a concern that it's about a half a degree off. That's very interesting. Very interesting. Let's move on to something else. <laughs> This is this is the uh, the miter guide for my Ryobi table saw, which is a, a basic table saw, and it's set at uh, zero, which should be 90 degrees. And uh, so, if I put this on here, there's no way to really do this well. Hmm. It looks like, uh oh. This is about a degree off also. All right, that's not encouraging. Let's look at another miter guide. This is the one for my bandsaw. Now this is a Craftsman bandsaw 
Gad. Um, we'll see. Let's maybe loosen this up. Put it here, and let's see. Hmm. This is better. This is just two tenths of a degree off, and it is also set at zero. So I'm going to say that's good. Let's take a look at the chop saw, and I know that my chop saw is slightly off. It's It's been slightly off since I bought it, and I can't seem to figure that out. Let's see what it is here. Ooh, that's a whole degree off. That's 89.1. That's a whole degree off against that fence. Out of curiosity, let's check it against the other fence because I don't think these fences are perpendicular to each other. I don't think they're in line with each other. Ooh, now that one is 90 degrees on the nose. Isn't that interesting? So these these fences are a little off. That's disturbing. But I knew I knew sort of what I was getting into um, when I did that. So that is curious. Hey, all right. Hey, thank you very much. Husky Digital Protractor. Thank you for the info. All right, so that was, um, wow, that was pretty interesting. Um, I'm a little, I'm a little disturbed that the tools that I use every day in the shop are off, um, even just a part of a degree, because especially like with the chop saw, discovering that it's off a whole degree over on that left fence. By the time you take that degree out, eight or ten inches even um that's that's a good gap right there um so anyway that's something i need to work on we might look at that in another video about how to use this guy to bring some of your other tools into adjustment so anyway maybe something else hey i hope that was helpful um i enjoyed that i think this is worth it i think it's worth the 20 bucks this is a very good father's day gift any guy would like this any guy. So, hey, if you're looking for something inexpensive for your dad for Father's Day, this is a good suggestion. As, as I said, we got this at, or my kids got this, Home Depot, I think it was 20 bucks, well worth it. Hey, if we can do anything for you, if you have any questions, comments, uh, or you would like to just get in touch with us otherwise, give us a shout over at info at applevalleyfarmga.com or check us out for more info over at www.applevalleyfarmga.com. Thank you so much. Take care. Join us here and we will be back with more great inexpensive Father's Day tips. See you. Father's Day gifts. Think. <laughs>